I have always been the type of person who goes after what I want, no matter the obstacles in my way. So when I first laid eyes on Max, I knew I had to have him, there was just one tiny problem he already had a girlfriend named Emma, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. Max and I met at a local coffee shop one sunny afternoon I was there to study, and he was sitting alone at a corner table engrossed in a book, his tousled brown hair and piercing blue eyes immediately caught my attention. I couldn't help but notice how his smile lit up the room when he laughed at something he read. I was smitten. Over the next few weeks, I made it my mission to insert myself into Max's life that I started by accidentally running into him at the coffee shop more frequently. We struck up conversations about our favorite books, movies, and hobbies we had so much in common, it was uncanny. Max and I became fast friends and our friendship grew stronger with each passing day. We spent hours chatting about everything and nothing, and I couldn't help but fall for him harder each time we met. I knew he had a girlfriend, but I also believed that if he got to know me better, he would realize that we were meant to be together. Emma was a lovely girl, from what Max had told me, they had been dating for two years, and their relationship appeared to be rock solid, but I was determined to change that, I started doing some research on social media, trying to find any weaknesses in their relationship, I wanted to know what could drive a wedge between them. One day, as I was scrolling through Emma's Instagram, I noticed a post she made about her dream vacation to Paris, that's when it hit me. Max had mentioned once that he had always wanted to visit Paris but never had the opportunity, I decided to use this information to my advantage. I began subtly suggesting to Max that he should surprise Emma with a romantic trip to Paris, I painted vivid pictures of the city of love and all the incredible experiences they could have together. Max was intrigued by the idea and started planning the trip, completely unaware of my ulterior motives. As their departure date approached, I continued to play the supportive friend, helping Max with all the details of the trip. Emma was overjoyed when Max surprised her with the tickets, and they both thanked me profusely for my help. Their Paris trip turned out to be a transformative experience for them. Max and Emma grew even closer, and I watched from the sidelines with growing frustration. It was as if my plan had backfired. I had unwittingly brought them closer together instead of driving them apart. But I wasn't ready to give up just yet. I had one more trick up my sleeve. As their relationship continued to flourish, I decided to be there for Max when things took a turn for the worse. I knew that no relationship was perfect, and sooner or later, they would face challenges. One evening, Max called me in distress. He and Emma had a huge fight during their Paris trip, and he didn't know what to do. I listened to his woes and offered a sympathetic ear. Slowly but surely, I began planting seeds of doubt in Max's mind about his relationship with Emma. I made him question whether they were truly compatible and whether he was truly happy. Over time, Max's doubts grew, and he began to pull away from Emma. It was painful to watch, but I couldn't stop myself. I wanted him, and I was willing to do whatever it took to have him. Months passed, and Max and Emma's relationship deteriorated further. They eventually broke up, and it was a devastating time for both of them. Max turned to me for comfort, and I was there to catch him. We spent more and more time together, and it seemed like my plan had finally worked. But as Max and I grew closer, I couldn't help but feel a pang of guilt for what I had done. I had manipulated their relationship and hurt two people who deserved better. I realized that my obsession with Max had clouded my judgment and led me down a destructive path. In the end, I couldn't bring myself to pursue a romantic relationship with Max. I had seen the pain I had caused, and I couldn't bear to hurt him further. Instead, I decided to be a true friend to him offering support and comfort as he healed from the breakup with Emma. As time passed, Max and I remained close friends, but I learned a valuable lesson about the consequences of my actions. I had tried to manipulate a relationship to get what I wanted, but in the process, I had lost sight of my own values and morals. 
I realized that true love couldn't be forced or manufactured, it had to develop naturally, without any ulterior motives. I vowed never to repeat my mistakes and to focus on being a better person. And maybe, just maybe, if the universe had it in store for us, Max and I would find our way to each other in a more honest and genuine way someday.